Hey guys, uh, back to do the second part of the grafting series. All right, so let's quickly go over the terminology we're gonna use and the type of graft that we're gonna try here. So first of all, uh, you can graft any plant with cambium tissue. And uh, that's the kind of living layer of the plant that is just beneath the outer bark and it's very thin but most of the interior is not active as far as root or callus formation. Basically the goal as I've said before with grafting is to match up the cambium of the rootstock and the scions so I guess we can start with that and Say the root stock is the lower root part, and the scion is the upper foliage part where they meet together. It is referred to as the graft union. So the type of graft I'm going to be showing you today is known as a cleft graft. And there are many types and I've tried a bunch of them. The very earliest I was doing was a bark graft. And then I switched to cleft grafts, but I've also tried a uh, whip and tongue and splice grafts, but those are quite difficult to do with uh, cannabis being that the tissue is quite soft and it's not hardwood like for a, a fruit tree. We're going to try an apical cleft graft and basically what that means is that we're going to have a branch from the rootstock. And that we're going to cut off. And then we're going to put a slice right down the middle of it. Like that. And then we're going to take our scion. And we're going to cut that into a wedge. Kind of like that. And insert that into here and line up the cambium. So it doesn't necessarily have to be that these are of the same diameter. That kind of helps. You'll probably get the most cambium overlap that way on both sides of the graft. But if for example, if we kind of zoom in, and here's the rootstock, and you made your cut like that. And your uh, scion cutting was much smaller in diameter than this. What you'd basically do is just line it up with one side. So your cutting would basically go in like this. And so you would just line up the left side of the bark of the cutting to this left side of the rootstock. Yeah, it's pretty simple. All you do is cut the notch in the rootstock, cut the wedge in the scion, place them together, and then you need to apply pressure. And that's where the parafilm really comes into its own. And what we're gonna do is gonna start from the bottom and we're gonna wrap the parafilm up and really apply pressure like in this, well, no, sorry, in this particular illustration, in this and this direction. So like that, really squeeze onto the scion. And so it'll be wrapped and it'll be wrapping it tight and then you can 
with parafilm being stretchy, you could easily just keep wrapping it up around the exposed part of the stock of the scion. That way, this whole area is sealed in and its natural internal moisture is preserved there. So just to recap from last time, the stuff you need, the critical stuff that I was mentioning was some parafilm or some other way to seal the graft union, a sharp razor, and uh, something to make a humidity dome around the graft. I'm going to use this bag and the lighter seal it up. The one thing I didn't mention last time is you will need something to get the moisture in there. I recommend one of these small spray bottles or if you have one of the larger ones with the wand you can kind of bend the end of those um, that's a that's actually a pretty good hack for those anyway if you're using them indoors so that they point down and then those are really convenient to go spray right into the humidity dome so I went ahead and grabbed two baby clones from a dispensary and again in Oregon those are about $20 and are usually under two feet in height. And uh, this one here is Starkiller. And those of you who have been longtime fans uh, probably remember this from the 2016 season, which didn't end too well, unfortunately. But that's a pretty good strain, and I don't have that cut anymore, so I got it back here. And I think that's Skywalker, which he crossed with darkness number two or something like that but yeah sorry for the shot <laughs> it's uh about 18 to 20 inches tall and got a nice thick stem at the base here you can see there's been some uh, necrosis at the leaf tips um hmm. by the way they're kind of swooping down i would guess that's improper watering you can see kind of that droop and then there's lots of moisture in there but and you can see that they bounce back to that position so it's not underwatering it's overwatering causing uh root damage and uh, imposed lockout probably but the uh, tops here look pretty healthy so definitely something that we'll be able to deal with no problem I'm going to go ahead and transfer these out of these pots into the large net cup. It's not going to be a much increase of the volume of growing medium, but it'll definitely help with breathing for the root system. Let's just take a look at that real quick. That's a huge piece of perlite. Okay, so that's fine. So it actually doesn't need much more new soil. It needs to actually may, uh, grow more roots in this soil. So yeah, there's its uh, official tag. And the other one that I got is a new strain for me, and it's called Disco Funk. I think this is a cross between um, White Funk and Dosi Dos. And similar thing here, you can see even more of that droop Again, plenty of moisture. This one's actually a little bit better, but still not great on the root system. And uh, looks like they might have had some thrips or mites at some point. Don't see any at the moment. But we're definitely going to quarantine these two. My second tent isn't being used right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in there for a while and. Blast them with some method one for a few weeks before we introduce them into the other grow area if we even do that. All right, so that's going to do it for this part. In two days, I'm going to go ahead and put out the next part in this grafting series, which is the one where we're going to do the actual graft. So that's going to be uh, March 4th, this upcoming Sunday, if you're following along in real time. And I really hope you guys uh, decide to give this a shot and follow along and try grafting for yourself. It's something that I found really rewarding uh, for its practical uses, but also for, you know, expanding my horticultural skills.
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on growing.